The Famous Rome Channel is back again. On the second season of TLC's 90 Day Fiancé The Other Way, Jihoon Lee and Divan Clegg are hoping to move in together permanently in South Korea, Jihoon's home country. But it looks like their ongoing trust issues and financial problems could stand in the way of the newlyweds' happiness. Twenty-three-year-old Divan, previously a Utah-based single mom to an older daughter Drasilla, and twenty-nine-year-old Jihoon conceived their son Taeyang the first night they met. After giving birth to Taeyang, Divan moved to South Korea as soon as it was safe to fly. But after finding out about Jihoon's criminal past and massive debts, as well as his failure to secure a job or a place for them to stay with their children, Divan hightailed it back home to the U.S. On a recent episode of 90 Day Fiancé The Other Way, Divan planned to move back to Jihoon's home country, provided that he finally stepped up and took responsibility for his family. But just a few days before his wife's arrival, Jihoon revealed to his friends that he wasn't exactly as prepared as he had claimed. The day before Divan's arrival in his home country, Jihoon met up with his longtime friends Woo Hyuk and Tae Hyun to give them the scoop. Over dinner, they discussed his wife's big move and now Jihoon had or hadn't prepared in advance. With Divan arriving tomorrow, I feel very nervous, Jihoon told 90 Day Fiancé producers. Divan gave me last chance, if I not prepare for everything, she'll leave, but I'm not give up our relationship. Still, Jihoon didn't seem to have adhered to Divan's requests. When Jihoon's friends asked where he planned on living with his wife, stepdaughter and son, he admitted he didn't have a place to stay mapped out after Divan's one-month rental. This is kind of embarrassing. The house that we're living together in, Divan paid for the first month, the Nandidi Fiancé star sheepishly told his friends. She found it online and paid for it, that's why she's coming, even though I didn't get a house. Jihoon's buddies also wanted to know how he planned to support his family. What are you going to do about work? Can you provide for four people? Wu Hyuk asked skeptically. The Nandidi Fiancé star said he was working hard, but he was still barely making ends meet at this point. I am doing deliveries, he told his friends. If I do mornings, afternoon and overnight shifts, I'll make three to four thousand dollars, so it's not enough. Jihoon told TLC producers that he liked it even about having a steady, stable job. Instead, he only had a part-time job that paid by the hour. I exaggerated to Divan, he confessed. I don't really have a real job. I have a side job doing deliveries. It goes by the hour, and it's a part-time job. I lied to Divan because if I have no money, Divan's not come to Korea. I need to hurry and get a house, Jihoon said nervously. This time my mother-in-law is coming. The Nandi Day Fiancé star insisted that he would work two jobs if he had to keep Divan safe. But his friend Tae Hyun didn't quite buy the story, given his sketchy work history. I've been friends with him for 15 to 20 years, Tae Hyun told 90 Day Fiancé producers. I can't even imagine him working two jobs, Jihoon is really crazy. Wu Hyuk too couldn't believe how much of a gamble Jihoon was taking, especially since Divan had given him a clear ultimatum. The fact that you could do this twice, he exclaimed incredulously, clearly wondering how Jihoon and Divan would make it in the end. This isn't something a man should be doing. As a friend, I am really embarrassed. He's making a fool out of Korean men. At the very least, Jihoon seemed to understand the pickle he was in when it came to his wife and mother-in-law. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm so stressed, he declared. What I say to myself is, I'm fucked. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.